Hello everyone, my name is Inez. Welcome to this video. Today I am going to bring you the word of the Lord for April, this next season. And let's pray because God is doing absolutely amazing things. He's always working, he's always moving, he never changes. He's the same yesterday, today and forever. So let's pray for this word in Jesus' name. So Father God, we glorify your name, we worship you, we praise you. Holy Spirit, we ask you to take over this message. Speak to your children, God, in Jesus' name. Take over the words that come out of this vessel in Jesus' name. And may they be changed, those who hear and receive this word in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. God is good, his mercy endures forever. So we're coming in to April. And God is on the move. God is always working. In my own life, there has been changes. There's movement. There always is. There's shifts. There's different seasons. And this is a different season. Just to remind you, brothers and sisters, the beginning of this year, the word that God gave us all was to be strong. The word from Joshua, be strong and be courageous. So, you know, when you hear a word like this, you know, when you hear the word of God, when you're praying anything spiritual, you must continue to be alert because you're in a battle. So even when there's change, when you go to a new level, you need to pray. You can't just say, oh, yes, things are changing now. Oh, yes, I've been blessed and forget about things. You need to have your spiritual armor on. So you need to be prayerful and you need to be in the word. So when the enemy puts out sickness, when he tries to cause little things here and there, you're alert and you're on the ball. You're quick to pray. You're quick to de decree and declare things because why? You have power and authority and it's something the devil does. He tries to distract really quick by causing things to get your eyes. Remember, like Peter on the water. And Jesus said, come on, come to me then. And he was walking on the water. But he took his eyes off Jesus and he looked around. So it happens with all of us if you're not careful. So make sure you have a prayer life. Make sure that you're attending church groups around Christians. But in the word of God and not only in the word of God, because I mean, there's people who know the word of God inside out and they're living in sin. So you want to be obedient and following the word, applying it to your life. God is going to bless you. God is going to bless you mightily. He is opening divine doors. Like I said, when I give these words, things happen in my life. But the Lord speaks things through me to you, to all of us. It's for all of us and it takes place. And the blessings he is pouring out, the gifts from heaven, the supernatural gifts. You know, there's many who believe in God, but they don't believe in the supernatural. The wonders of God, the things he does, the blessings, the supernatural things that you see that take place in your life. And if you're distracted with the things in life, you'll miss these things and you'll think it's a coincidence. But there's no coincidences in God. When you meet someone, it's for a reason. So make sure you're praying for everything. Give it your all. You're not one to give up. You're not one that looks back. You continue to move forward. You're quick to forgive and let go. And get up out of your bed. Get up and shake the dust off and move forward. Apply for something. People think, well, nothing happens to me. I'm never blessed. The Bible says give and it'll be given back to you. The Bible tells us to move forward, to let go of the past, to be engaged with others. So what are you doing in your life? What are you doing for Jesus? God is always blessing you. He's always speaking. But you have to do your part. Your part is to believe and to act and to apply the word of God to your life. So the new people God is bringing into your life. You have to go. You have to attend things. You have to be there. You have to answer the call. And people will even come to you. Divine connections. And this is the word of the Lord that God gave me. 
that the Lord is going to exceed your expectations. Exceed your expectations. So we see like Esther, she's just this girl. We see David, he's just this shepherd boy. We see Joseph, he's hated by his family. He's just left out. What's their ending? Did they expect that? To be a queen, to be a governor, to be a king? It's God. You see, God sees your future. He sees who he has created you to be. You're just thinking, oh, I need to get something here. Oh, God, bless me with this. You have no idea, unless you're listening to the Lord, where he is going to place you and what he's going to do through you and with you to bless others. You are blessed to be a blessing to others. But he's going to take you and bring you to places that will blow your mind. I can testify. I have too many testimonies. I can't share them all because God is good in my life and he just, he amazes me with the most amazing things he does in my life, with desires of heart, with favour, with blessings. He blesses me to the point where I just look up and say, Lord, seriously, thank you. This is amazing. Small things, big things. Everything good is from the father of lights, your father. But he's going to exceed your expectations. So just like I said, Queen Esther, King David, Governor Joseph. So there's a time and a season just like Jesus. Jesus knew his time. He knew when to move and he knew when to say nothing. So God is the almighty God. He is your father. And people say, dream big, you know, dream. But make it happen. But put everything to the Lord. Lord, will I apply for this? Lord, will I go here? Lord, I'm doing this now. How will I finish this? Can you give me wisdom? And you'll get the answer. Many Christians forget to include God in their life. Even the smallest things. God cares about the smallest things. How you look. What you like. What you like to eat. What your favourite song is. God loves everything about you. God sings over you. But don't forget, Jesus has given you power and authority. So you can command your day. You command your family. I'm talking about spiritually. You declare and you decree a thing and it shall be done. But the other thing is, you have to believe. You have to believe. You have to act. Faith is action. Belief. Moving. No, I'm going to apply for this. No, I'm going to do this. No, I'm going to pass this test. Even if you failed two times, keep going. We're not one to give up. We are victorious. You are a conqueror. You are a warrior. And how God sees you in the spirit and in the future. Why don't you ask God and he will show you. Also in the season, definitely continue to pray for the nations. Pray for the world leaders. Pray for your leaders. Pray for the body of Christ. Pray for the leaders in the body of Christ who God has given you as gifts. Continue to pray. If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, if you're believing for a thing, believe it, receive it, give it to God and get on with your life. Move. God always tells us to move forward. And one day, suddenly, it will change. It will come to you. Things will happen. Like I said, I can testify of all these things. In Psalm 62, 5, my soul waits only upon God for my expectation is from him. Don't forget, we love receiving. We love when Father God blesses us. But remember, you're blessed to be a blessing. So he has given you gifts. He has given you finances. He's given you a job for a reason. He's put you around these people for a reason. So ask God, why am I here? What is it you want me to do? And it might just to be to speak to one person, to bless someone, to hug someone, to give to someone, to change the atmosphere. You see, you could be given a job to change things. My expectation is from God. Jesus is your hope. 
Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. In Proverb 24, 14. So shall the knowledge of wisdom be to your soul. When you have found it in there shall be a reward and your expectation shall not be cut off. Jesus is wisdom. Everything is in him. You live and move and have your being. You are in him. Wait, he is in you. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. This April, God is going to exceed. He is going to bless you. He's going to do things. The season of goodness, last month's word, blew my mind. Every week there was something. Wow, God. Wow. But God is a big God. He's the creator of everything. There's nothing too hard for God. Don't give up. Don't give up just because you don't see things yet. Don't give up. Ephesians 3.20. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we ask or think according to the power that works in us. Don't forget your authority. Don't forget your authority. And in 1 Corinthians 12, this is the season where God is pouring out wisdom. God is heavenly protecting you. You need to understand this. God gives all types of gifts. We know the spiritual gifts. You're in your job. You're in your family. You could be a single mother and God is blessing you. He's using you to raise these children. To love them. He has you around certain people, around this person for a reason. So there's spiritual gifts. And then we live this life and God can speak through your enemy. God can protect you. He can nudge you. He can speak to you every type of a way you can imagine. So there's all kinds of gifts. People think, oh, it's all in the church. I have to go to the church for this. You need to understand who you are and who your father is. You belong to a king, your royalty, and he gives the greatest gifts. And I'm talking about desires of your heart and spiritual gifts, promotions in the spirit and mantles in the spirit will be given. And most times they're true pastors, prophets, apostles. You need one of those in your life. Because their words never fall to the ground. So what they speak comes to pass. But not they have the anointing. But you yourself, Jesus said, I'm with you even till the end. And you have what you say. So there are different kind of gifts. But they are given to believers by the same spirit. There are different ways to serve. But they all come from the same Lord. There are different ways the spirit works. But the same God. Is working in all these ways and in all his people. Jesus is the greatest gift. If you can tell someone about Jesus. And tell them about the life that he gives them. And that he is the greatest physician. That he is their hope in this dark world. So as you see when you go to new levels. When you're about to be blessed, when you hear prophetic word, you have your armour on and you pray because the devil is just waiting for someone. You know, it's like you step out of church or you hear a word like this and you're all happy and Ooh, and after praying and praising the Lord and you're so blessed and happy and in the presence of the Lord. And then you walk out and someone says something nasty to you. What do you think that is? So be on your guard. And be alert. Be prayerful. And you won't be shaken then when things happen. In Ephesians 2, 8. For the, by grace you have been saved through faith. It's not of yourself. It's of the gift of God. Gifts from God. Your father. He is your heavenly father and he loves you. This April he is going to blow your mind. He is pouring out gifts from heaven. He's doing wonders. He's blessing you with surprises here and there. But he also wants you to be a blessing to others. To give. To help. To love. Don't just sit back and expect everything to come to you. Because you're the answer in this dark world. Rise, shine. Let your light shine. Jesus said you are the light of the world. But I'm with you. So don't hold Jesus in 
to yourself. Go out and shine. In Revelation 3, 7, the Lord is opening mighty doors. I've seen this a lot this past few months. I'm praying only the other day and the Lord God again revealed his opening of doors and treasure chests of blessings and surprises and wonders. I can testify. It'll take too long for me to share. In Revelation 3, 7, and the angels said, in the church of Philadelphia, write these things, says he that is holy and he that is true, he that has the key of David, he that opens and no man shuts, shuts and no man opens. God can do anything. God can open a door for you. God can make the person who can't stand you like you. And then they'll think, why did I just do that? Why did I just... Give to that person. Bless that person. God can give you that job. You can pass that test. That person will come back to you. That person who hurt you will apologise to you. For example, I love Joseph. And he's hated, rejected. He gets all these horrible things happening to him. But then he gets favoured by the enemy. He gets lifted up. He gets promoted. Then the ones that hate him bow down to him, not knowing who he is. And he's standing there in authority and he's given the commands. He's ruling the country. He's organising things. He's the leader. And when they recognise him, they're shocked. This is the one we rejected. Oh, I'm so embarrassed right now. God can do anything. He'll elevate you. But put Jesus first, worship him, give him praise and give him thanks because he is good and his mercy endures forever. God is good. You know, if there's sickness in your body, you can run to the doctor if you want. Doctors are amazing. There's hospitals there for a reason. People have gifts and talents for a reason. But the power and authority is in you. So you declare and you decree a thing. Speak to your body. Speak to the mountain, Jesus said. Don't forget these things. These things are in your Bible. They're not just there to be read. Jesus said, why do you call me Lord, Lord? But you're not listening to me. You're not doing what I'm telling you. You're not understanding. Remember, Jesus said, where's your faith? Why don't you believe me? Just trust me. Take my hand. Know that I am with you. Jesus said he is with you even till the end. No matter what season you're going through, you will come out of it and you need to understand that. But you have power. Speak things. Pray. Pray for your enemies. Love your enemies. Don't fight in the flesh. Never fight in the flesh. That's just the devil. And then there's consequences to that. With your words and with your actions. So the month of April... God is going to exceed your expectations. God is going to bless you even more so. God is given promotion, mantles in the spirit, more wisdom. He'll open your eyes to see more things. He will favor you with even those who don't like you, honestly. And they will go, why did I do that? I don't like that person. That's God. God can change anyone's heart. He can touch anyone. So don't forget to pray for your country, for your nation. Hallelujah. I hope that has blessed you because it's blessed me. And I'm blessed every day because Jesus is Lord. I know he's alive. He lives. He blesses me every day in every type of a way. When you open the curtains in the morning and you take your breath and you look out and you look at the people in your life and the things that you have and you say, God, thank you. God, thank you. Get on your knees. Thank you, Jesus. Be grateful, be thankful for everything you have. And everyone in your life is there for a reason, maybe for a season, maybe for a short time. And don't forget, God is bringing the love of your life into your life. Good friends into your life, godly friends, people who will help you, people who will be loyal and faithful to you. There's not many, but he always does it and he brings them. Because God is good.
and his word never falls to the ground. So this is the word of the Lord for you this season. May you receive it in Jesus name. Father in Jesus name we just thank you for this word. I just declare and decree this word over your children. Bless them even more. More in abundance and overflow God. Thank you for your blessings, for the promotion, for the mantles, Lord. I speak divine hedge of protection around your people. I speak healing in the bodies of your people right now. Every spirit of darkness to get off them and heaviness get off them. Every lie in their mind, I destroy it now by fire in Jesus Christ's name. May financial blessings find them. May they be blessings to others, God, in Jesus Christ's name. And may they walk every single day in gratitude to you and give you thanks, God. God, in Jesus Christ's name we worship you Lord we praise you Jesus you are king of kings lord of lords and you are coming back again hallelujah to the lamb of God thank you for your anointing and thank you Holy Spirit for the gifts that you will be pouring out to the children of God in Jesus name and thank you for protecting us thank you for keeping us thank you Lord for your word in Jesus name amen and amen Praise the Lord. Have the most amazing day, brothers and sisters.